Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're upgrading my HP Pavilion gaming laptop, it's the Pavilion 15 I believe, with basically I'm increasing the RAM from 18, or from 8, grand, 8 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes. So I just bought some off Amazon. This is the RAM I bought. I bought two 16 gigabyte sticks of DDR4, paid $76 for the two of them. I'll put a link down in the description on where you can buy the same thing. If you have this laptop and you want to buy something similar, here's the package it came in. So we'll open that up. Basically, I'm just looking at, you know, just basic little stats on my computer here using the task manager. Um, if you're curious, I got the AMD Ryzen 5 56 hertz, 100 hertz with Radeon graphics processor, a NVIDIA GeForce GPU, the CPU is that, is that AMD Ryzen. And so right now it's got eight gigs. It allows you to use 7.3 gigs. And I only have, you know, I have a video running on YouTube for my channel and I opened up DaVinci Resolve 18, not even editing a video or trying to process a video right now. I just opened up a couple things just to show you guys kind of how the stats work. And with just those two little things going, I'm using 86% of my RAM. So this should actually give me a pretty big boost going up to 32 gigs. I believe that's the most this will take this certain, this particular laptop. And there's the speed down there, 2.98 gigahertz or 2.1 is kind of, we're only using 3% of the CPU. It's got a total speed of 3.3. So I'm going to turn, shut down my computer, open up the back of this laptop. I'll show you guys all that. We'll put this RAM in there, take out the old, the old RAM. I think there's just one stick of eight gig in there. And we'll see, we'll do this. We'll repeat this test again. We'll open up a video on my channel and we'll open up DaVinci Resolve and see how it does. So let me shut it down and I'll switch to the workbench here. I got some tools. We're going to open up the back of this computer. All right, guys, so off camera. I took out these three screws and then these four screws on the top. And then I had to, I went around the edge with a little separator tool. I started kind of up here in this corner and you have to kind of go around and pop out the tabs. And then this thing, this cover comes off and that exposes the computer here. And then under this kind of black tape here, you peel this back, which I already did. Kind of want to hold this piece down. That reveals that this is the eight gigabyte RAM that's in there now. So we're gonna take that out, which I believe you just pull these tabs back. And the RAM pops up on its own. So that's the old RAM that it comes with. Eight gigabytes of one R times eight PC4, 3200 AA. RAM in there. So let's open up our package. Put our new RAM in. Here's the first stick. I believe it kind of just slips in like this and clips in like that. I'm assuming the stickers go down. I think you can only put it in one way due to the this little slot here. And then here's our second stick of RAM. Do the same thing. So this one's kind of opposite oriented. You can see because of where this is, this won't fit. So you gotta put it in this way. Press it down. Then I think we should be good. So we'll put this back on. We'll go ahead and press that down as best you can. Now this isn't a very dusty computer, but now would be a good time to dust it. Not seeing a whole lot of dust in any of the fans or anything. 
there's a little bit of dust kind of in this vent here that I'll clean out. I'm just going to put this back on, bolt it, put the screws back on, and then I'll switch to the test and show you guys that. Okay, guys, I got everything put back together. And we're back on the speed test here. So it is showing the memory is there. So 31.3 of the 32 gigabytes is available. Currently, I have a web page open with that same YouTube video and DaVinci Resolve open. And we're only using 25% of the computer right now. Yeah, it's still basically the same 7.8, but again. And the GPU basically on, the, or the CPU basically on the same speed it was before. The GPU is not even really being used right now. So I, I'll keep you guys updated. Put comments down below if you have any questions. I'll keep you updated on whether or not I'm seeing an increased performance here. I'm really hoping this helps with me. I cast a lot of things to my TV, and a lot of times that goes slow, goes slow, and I'm hoping this will speed that up as well as just speed up everyday functions, and especially the video editing stuff in DaVinci. I think we'll go a lot sm smoother and faster now that I've made this upgrade. Again, guys, I'll put a link down below where you can buy this RAM on Amazon. If you like this content, you found this video helpful, make sure to like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see updates, you want to see more content like this. And I'll catch you all next time.